Welcome to the Sending Payment Requests video. During this video, you'll learn to send a payment request. Since you've already connected a bank account, you're ready to begin requesting payments. In the inbox, you can send a payment request to a customer through an existing conversation, or you can start a new one. Instead of writing a new message, we'll use a template that has already been created. To send a payment request to a customer, you'll need to create a payment link. Let's create a payment request by adding a line item. You may need to require a shipping address, for example, if you have chargeback protection. You can add multiple line items to a payment request. Remember that item descriptions are visible to the customer. You can also add an invoice number. For example, your accounting firm might require it. Depending on your payment settings, you can determine what types of payment methods are possible for any given request. Optionally, you can set an expiration date for any given payment. Once the expiration date has passed, the customer will not be able to use the link. Expiration dates are commonly used if a customer will have to pay additional late fees after a certain date. Finally, generate the payment link and send the message. Once paid, the funds typically take 48 hours to show in your bank account. Now that you've watched the sending payment request video, you can send your first request.